Hey, this is Sierra from Sea Arts. This is how my Dutch pour wave came out after a couple of coats of varnish on this lovely thick canvas. Thanks for watching. Hello, I'm so excited to share with you how to make this great giant Dutch pour wave. This is the second one I made. You can see the first one over here on the side. And I started by putting down a white base paint. And the white base paint is titanium white. Um, it is mixed with two parts floatrol for every one part paint and then some water added in and you just try to get it right across the whole canvas because it's such a big canvas in this case I made sure I had two cups of white ready because I didn't want to run out and you want to make sure they're both the same consistency so in order to do that I actually dump them from one cup into the other get it really well mixed up and you want it really thin consistency for the Dutch pour so you want to make sure that you get it to where it's almost the consistency of milk it's just a little thicker so that when you dribble the paint over it it just goes straight back in so now what we're going to do is take a little dot of each color of paint and put it on a piece of paper usually it's great to use cardboard sometimes the canvases come wrapped in cardboard and you just put a little dot of each color on there and then when you lift the paper up and you let the colors flow down you can see which colors are flowing more slowly and then you know that you need to add a little bit more water to the colors that are flowing more slowly so that they have that equal consistency between the different paints all right here's where we get to do the fun part we get to start putting the colors onto the canvas so as you can see, I'm really gonna try to put the darkest blue towards the bottom and the top of the painting so that this wave goes back and gives you that sense that there's depth. And then in the middle of the painting, it's gonna be the lighter colors, like the light green and the light blue. And so you can see as I go here, I put layer upon layer of different colors. And then we get out the blow dryer and we blow. And when you blow, you really, I like to hold it upside down so that the blow dryer cord is protected. And then I blow just right across the, the canvas. And at first what I do is I blow some of the paint towards the bottom so that it actually will cover in a pretty way, the bottom of the canvas. I don't always tape the sides. I usually um, tape the underneath side of my canvas, but not the sides. And so you can still see the pretty paint and it flows off the edges. If I get the really thick, beautiful canvases like this one. All right, so um, as I blow it out, you can see that I keep going back in and adding little bits of paint where I feel like it's needed. And um, at the top, I decide to make the paint, make the, sorry, make the wave go all the way to the top of the canvas. So you can see that I add a little bit more paint in there as I go. And that's really to try to give it that barrel-like depth for a surfing wave. Just a little more blue here at the top of the wave. And now we're done. Thank you all for joining us today. This was really fun. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Uh, you can see here's the final product. Two coats of varnish. It's looking great. Gallery wrapped canvas. Hope to see you soon. Take care.